Try to get it. Chase it. I got some candy. <laughs> 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 That's that Thank you. Right. <laughs> you don't need no candy. <laughs> this is a nice spot. <laughs> this is the spot. <laughs> yeah, this is the spot. Definitely the spot. Yeah. Living gang, this is where you need to be right here. Oh, snap. I see. That, I just see that. Hey y'all, that door right there open. What's the name of it? Ramona. Happy birthday! 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 Hey. You know that, man. Thank you. Thank you.
ไปดิสเซ่เอาปาก่อนไม่เอาแค่ดิสบ้านก่อนดิ
Drop it like a hot for a block. Drop it like a hot for a block. Get a little lube with it. Put a little lube on it, Adrian. You know how to get it out. We got the third side.
Happy birthday, Mona Living. Yeah, we out here kicking the shit. Yeah, we appreciate it. Third spot, we out here. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, we done ended up at the Waffle House. I'm hungry. Chris, you fresh, ain't you, my boy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this what it is? Yeah. Where we sitting at? Oh, shit. We went right here. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah. shut up. I know it's a toss up, oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do what you're doing right now, right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all loud I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we could run up Knew you from the way, now we grown up My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous But if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it We could keep the pace on slow jet Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment Oh, I got your phone. What's up, y'all? What's up, living gang? Welcome. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am your girl, Mona Living. I am living. I hope that you are as well. Y'all, quick question. Are y'all living or are y'all existing? Come on, Chris, now. It done got cold out here. Huh? Are y'all living or are y'all existing? Y'all wait. Anywho, um, 
We stopped by the Waffle House, y'all. We are headed in the house right now. We tired. I'm tired. I can say I am tired. Chris, are you tired? Tired as hell. It is cold. It hell. done got cold, y'all. No, I can't stand spring, man. Spring confusing. It done got cold, man. When I say cold, it done got cold. So I am headed home right now. I had a great day. I pick y'all up today. Happy I mean, birthday. I pick y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Um, as y'all know, today is my birthday. I will definitely pick y'all back up when I get in the house to kind of further break down how the day went and you know, give y'all the 411 on the scoop of what went on. And yeah, we'll talk about it. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Let's get in the house. So anyway, y'all, so I have made it home. Um, I'm about to unwind. But while I unwind, I can talk to y'all and give y'all like a scoop on today, how everything went. Um, today was amazing. Y'all, I can truly say today was amazing. Um, I had a good time. I really enjoyed myself. Um, we were supposed to go to a place called Mar Mar Marticello. It was like they had like day parties and stuff like that. We were supposed to do that just me and Chris. But of course, I was tired because as y'all know, I was um, out yesterday at the baby shower. And of course, last night, um, I kind of stayed up a little bit. However, I was kind of still tired. So what I did was I went ahead and kind of wanted to sleep in this morning instead of going getting up like I supposed to have got up and, you know, got my day going, but I didn't. That's not here there. I had a good time. Um, I had a good time. We met up at, um, your third spot. It's a little, um, arcade for, like, the adults. Kids can go there, too, but it's, you know, they mainly hosted for adults in the evening. Real nice spot, y'all. Laid back, cool. Um, keep in mind, if you book it, you, um, I booked it for, like, eight to ten people because, you know, I had invited a few people. Some people couldn't show up, and I understand that's fine. Um, so I booked it for 10 people. Of course, they don't they don't hold your card or anything. All you do is basically make the reservation and then, or do, hold on, do you? I think you do. Maybe you might do have to hold a reservation. I, I mean, hold some money on your card. I think you do. Yeah, so um, you have to make a reservation. I think you have to put your card on file because if you don't show up, they charge your card fifty dollars. So yeah, you do have to put a card on reservation. I mean, um, a card on file. So they basically, from what y'all will see, they give you like a little section of your own um, for you and your guests, and you just pretty much, you know, sit there, vibe out. Y'all can play games, you know, get up and come back to your section if you want to, however you choose. So it's yours for ninety minutes, um, and then you pay for a um game card and then that way you paying for the game card but you know you're also um you know paying for drinks food and things of that sort so very nice place very laid back um the music was a vibe we had a good time i enjoyed myself um, I just want to say shout out to my two best friends, Adrian and Tiwi, for always showing up for me, always there, always, you know, putting their efforts in to be, you know, here with me celebrating every birthday, every milestone that I go through. And I definitely just want to give a big, big shout out to my two best friends, Adrian and Tiwi. Shout out to y'all. I love y'all girls to death. Y'all know how we rock solid. Um, shout out to Stephanie, my homegirl, um, still, uh, this, she's one of the hostess in, um, our wedding. She brought her husband, um, Trent, um, so him and Chris got to, you know, chop it up and get to know each other and stuff like that. So, you know, it won't be, you know, he won't be feeling all awkward when he comes to the wedding with, you know, with Stephanie and whatnot. So, that was a good thing that they got to, um, meet each other and stuff like that. So, I was excited about that. And then my homegirl, um, 
Nisha, she showed up and honey, we chopped it up and she um she is previously from my old, old job and so me and her know each other from work so we was we was vibing or whatever catching up on old stuff and pretty much talking and having a good time so shout out to my girl niche why the hell i keep dropping my damn makeup wipes hell i just dropped one i got one in my hand what the hell oh makeup you coming out but uh and so yeah it was it was a vibe i y'all i advise y'all to go check it out um now the chicken and waffles i had chicken and waffles it had plimento cheese on it and then it served with some type of syrup butter it was pretty good um i just couldn't get into the um the, it was like kind of too like i can't you know how somebody say too crispy it's how chicken is too crispy that chicken was like so crispy like it was falling everywhere like on the table on the floor and then they plate see they had just started their brunch today so they just started their brunch menu today the place y'all again is called your third spot here in atlanta um if you are in the atlanta georgia area and you are looking for a cool spot so just chill you know have get some catch some vibes um they did they were playing music so you know they do have music going it was real nice i um i enjoyed myself and me and see chris didn't get to use his car so we definitely are going to make a date night um there and then you get to challenge your you know your mate or whatever they got like the games where you get to challenge you know have a good time so that was that and then my sister made me a cake and the cake was beautiful. I appreciate it. Shout out to my sister. I am going to ask her to give me um, some business cards, um, like I said, so that I can, you know, put her information down so y'all can, you know, reach out to my sister if y'all are in the Georgia area, in the area, and y'all are needing somebody to make you a cake, a delicious more cake. Get that, my sis. She'll get you right. For sure, for sure. So we did that. Oh, and this sticker right here, y'all. When I walked in, so when me and Chris first got there, we walked in the line. We, you know, they asked me did I have a reservation or whatnot, and I told them, yeah. So the guy, well, on the website, when you are booking, it asks you what you're booking for. So I said it was a birthday or whatever. So um when we got there he was like oh you booking for you it's your birthday i was like yeah he was like okay i got something for you he was like keep this sticker on all day so people you know they'll know it's your birthday so we walked in or whatnot as soon as i walk in they was like oh happy birthday because i guess the man had sold them through the little microphone because he got a little microphone on his ear he was like the guy was when i walked he was like happy birthday as soon as you walk in honey, they give you a you got a choice from I forgot what's the name of the looker, but baby, they giving you a shot when you walk through the door, honey. So, yeah, I um, y'all seen that, and honey, it was a vibe. So when you get in there, baby, it is a vibe. When I say a vibe, it's a vibe. So they, oh, and then they bring you. I don't know if they bring you free champagne with your birthday or. I think Chris paid for it. I don't know. He said he don't, honey, he, we didn't know where the champagne and the sprinkles came from. We just rolled with it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we went not to ask no questions, but however, it was a vibe. We had a Y'all seen all of that. <laughs> Makeup is off. I am about to wrap this cow up. And y'all, y'all gonna laugh at me when I show y'all what I got for a star painting. So, for my friend's birthday, um, I went out to Katrina's birthday last, was Saturday? Last weekend? Whatever one was made. And I had on some shorts, this day, this same pair of shorts. Y'all, this is a shirt, this is a shirt that go with it. It's like a house of top shirt. Let me show y'all. So, okay, this one go like this. This go like this. And that goes around your neck. It's supposed to go around your neck. Like that. And then these. This is supposed to tie 
Let me try to see if I can grab the other part. So that's supposed to tie. <laughs> and this is supposed to go around your neck. So y'all get the gist right. Okay, well, I won't be doing it to this because I don't wear like shirts like this. And this one going to like the swimming pool or something, but this shirt is like a, it's not a swimming suit, swimming suit material. So, I just put it on my head. As a scarf, because I don't know where my scarf is, and my daughter done lost it. So, this is going to be my scarf for the time being. And yeah, it does get, it gets the job done, honey. And that's it. Yep, it gets the job done, my girl. What y'all think? It covered all that back there like I wanted, not a whole lot, but I just wanted, like, you know, this main part covered, so. Covered. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. it's something now. But yeah, y'all, so we had a good time. I enjoyed my birthday. And thank you, everybody who has wished me a happy birthday. Um, I appreciate all the birthday love. I, I feel so loved, y'all. Honestly, 38. I can basically and pretty much say I am blessed beyond. Um, I can't complain and I won't. I'm alive, I'm well, I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm, you know, I'm in my right mind. Um, I mean, I'm grateful, I'm blessed, I'm happy, I'm in love, I'm loved, I'm appreciated, I'm a no, I'm a black queen. So, you know, I'm all that. I'm her. Um, this is 38 for me, y'all. And, um... I hope that y'all enjoy my birthday with me. Um, if y'all have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate everybody. Like this video as we go along. And I will be hollering at y'all in my next clip. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Good night. What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. It is the day after my birthday. And I just wanted to give y'all a recap. I did give y'all a recap on yesterday, but I just wanted to kind of give y'all an overall feel as I eat my leftovers. Um, I'm eating um, some eggs, some grits, and some sausage. Um, but y'all, just wanted to give y'all a recap. Like, y'all... So, my, um, you know, I, you know, when you, you, I invited people to come, everybody couldn't make it, and I understand, you know, I'm fine with that, I don't go to everything, I can't, if I can't make it, I can't make it, you can't, you know, you know, up, stuff come up, and, you know, I don't want to be on the top of everybody's priority list, you know, I'm, I don't expect myself to be, however, you know, stuff go on, things happen, and, like my best friend Adrian, you know, we was talking and people ain't gonna show up for everything you have. People ain't gonna show up to, you know, you can have certain things. People come to what they wanna come to. People make time for what they wanna make time for. And for me, I've been like this for a while now. I celebrate my birthday. I love when my birthday come around. I like to invite people out. I like to try new different places in here in Atlanta because I am from Atlanta. You know, I'm from Georgia. So, hold on, y'all. Let me cut this light on. Um, I like to, you know, I like to try out new places here in our, in my city. Um, yeah, of course I like to travel, but again, you know, while we're not, why I didn't travel this, this time is because of, you know, we doing the wedding and things like that. However, y'all, we had a good time. Um, mm, y'all, that iced coffee, him, and we had a good time. And I was just thinking, so I feel like I'm so blessed, y'all. I'm blessed to have an amazing man that makes sure my birthdays always go good. Um, even before my, you know, even a year round, like every day is my birthday, I feel because I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be alive, well, doing good. And 
When you have people in your corner like your man that support you, you have your friends that support you, family. Not all people, not everybody going to be happy for your moment. Not everybody going to be there for your happiest moments. Not everybody going to be there for your dark, darkest moments. But when you have those certain people that's, that's every time you turn your phone on, you, kind of, you look at a video on your Instagram and you see the same people in your corner, them the folks that you fuck with. Them the people that really fuck with you, that love you, that's there for you, that's in your corner, that's riding for you. When you see people out with different folks all the time and they always got a different circle, it it, it, it kind of ring a bell like why you ain't consistent with friends? Like why you can't be consistent with a man or a woman? Why every time I look around you switching from man to man, woman to woman, and friend from friend to friend to friend? Like what's wrong? And for me, I was looking at my story last night. I like to look back at myself and I was looking at me and my friends and I'm sitting here like, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I um I feel like when I and I talk about this all the time, I don't know if y'all know this. But I feel like my friends are truly my friends. Like my best friends that I've been friends with for years. Those are my ride or dies. Like no matter what I invite them to, they deal. No matter how much, you know, what time it take, if they running late, they gonna make sure they show up for their friend. And that's what type of friend I am. I'ma show up, if I can't make it, it's gonna be a reason to why I can't make it. And it's gonna be pretty much like a, a emergency. Like, I can't make it because either I'm working and couldn't get that day off, or, you know, when I was, when my mom was here and I was taking care of her and I couldn't just leave my mama by herself, I, would, I wouldn't be able to come. But this day and age that my mama has passed and God, she's with God. I know she in great hands. And if I got a job to where they won't let me out, of course, I would let, you know, my friends are understand that. But I, I, I give myself enough time to prioritize, you know. And my friends are the same way. We make sure that we're there for each other. Like, ain't nobody gonna be coming up with no bogus excuses to why they can't come. And I'm not upset. So I'm not. I, I don't get upset with people that can't come, because like I said, I understand. It's you know things are sometimes you're not prioritized and you're not. You know you you may not be feeling well. You may it may things may come up, and I understand that. My birthdays, y'all, are always a vibe for me. Like. Last year, what did I do? I had a brunch that day and I invited some friends out and some, you know, friends came. And then later on that night, me and Chris spent, um, we went to the uh, Atlanta State Market and had a good time. So I don't have to have a big gigantic party, and this extravagant party. In it, uh, me, me being alive, me being well, me being happy, me being, you know, happy within, me being confident. Me loving myself, me just being here is a blessing. So when people don't show up to stuff that I invite them to, y'all, I don't feel no way. I'm blessed. I'm blessed with or without no people. I'm blessed. I love being, you know, being here. Just being here. I'm in love. I'm loved. I'm appreciated. So you know, it's a time and a place. Back in the day when I was in my 20s, I would probably get mad if I invite you somewhere and you didn't show up. This is big age that I am. Baby, I'm going to have a good time. I'm a time by myself, honey. <laughs> I'm a time by myself, baby. I'm just saying, honey, the party is the party, honey. When you the party... Baby, you don't, people that can't come, you don't, it don't press you because at this big age, baby, I, it, it's a give and take. And I enjoy myself. I had a good time yesterday. The place that we went to was phenomenal. Me and Chris are already talking about going back because like I told y'all, he didn't get to use his uh, game card because he was talking and you know, we were doing other stuff. So we gonna go back and I'm gonna get up. We gonna do, we gonna have a good time out there. We might even take the kids with us when we go. Just to kind of, you know, go back out there and vibe out because it was a vibe. We enjoyed that place. That was really nice. The ambiance was great. It was a nice, like the, when you walk in the doors, baby, it's just like a, it's give you an outdoor feel, but you're inside. It's, it's just a vibe. I enjoyed that place and I'm definitely going back. Um, and yeah, like I feel good today. Like I got up, I'm log I logged in. I'm actually on lunch right now, so 
I said, let me warm up my little grits and eggs and kind of just sit and talk to y'all and kind of give y'all an insight of how I'm feeling today. I feel good, y'all. I'm happy. I feel like, you know, 38 is a big age. You know, they say 40 when you hit 40. No, when you hit 30, that's a big milestone, and it is. But when you hit a certain age, when you get to a certain, like when I was 28, I had just had my daughter when I was 27. So I was like, okay, hmm, I'm stepping into motherhood. You know, I got my daughter. You know, I was married. You know, it was like I was married the first time. It was like, okay, you come on, you a woman now. You gotta step your game up. You a whole mama out here. You a mama. Uh, you a mama. And you a wife. You gotta, you know, handle some shit. You gotta get some prioritizing going on. Ain't no clubbing. Ain't no partying. You gotta put all that to the. You done did all that. You know, that's how I'm jumping the mama hood. So when I was 28, I was on my mama shit. Like I was a mama. I'm still a mother. Don't get me wrong. I would be a mama. But I, you know how you was. I was a mother at 28. I had just you know, became to being a mother. 38? I've been a mama for a whole... Uh, August will be 11 years. My daughter will be 11. I feel like I haven't mastered it, but I know what it takes to... You know, my daughter ain't... She haven't hit those big milestones yet. But I can understand my motherhood to my child. Like, I know, like, okay, you've matured from 28, you're 38 now. So, you've matured a whole lot from when you first became a mother to now. And, you know, me and my baby, that's my best friend. If y'all have not seen how we act together, that's my best friend. That's my baby. That's my daughter. She know when I mean business. She know when, don't play with your mama now. We can play, but no, don't take it there. I'm at that age now. I'm a lot like my mama. How my mama raised us growing up. My mama was a beast, but she was our like my best friend. Like I could talk to my mama about stuff and not worry about her judging me. And and me being like I was, you know, I was looking back at myself and I said, self, myself said, huh, girl, bitch, you look good to be thirty. You look good to be damn thirty. Hey. And you a whole mama out here, a whole fiance about to be married again. And it ain't nothing wrong with starting over, y'all. Don't let nobody tell y'all that you can't start over. You it's it's too late. You can't be married at a certain type of age. You know, baby, it ain't never too late. It ain't never too late to buy a new car. It ain't never too late to start a career. It ain't never too late to buy a house. It ain't never too late to start over with marriages, relationships, friendships. It ain't too late. You just got to prioritize and figure out which way you want your life to go. If you trying to be happy and you trying to live a certain type of life, do it, y'all. It's not too late. No matter how old you get, no matter what age you are. If you feel like you need to start over, do just that. And stop waiting around. Don't wait on people. Do what you got to do. Because at the end of the day, they're going to do what they're going to do. You know, like, we 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 get so uh, complacent when we start worrying about people. Oh, I wonder so-and-so going to come. I wonder so-and-so going to like me. I wonder if they going to be around. Oh, I wonder am I going to be in a, you know, in their eyes a good mother. How am I going to be? No. Do it for you. And you know how to do it. Because when you pray and ask God to show you the way and guide you, he going to guide you. And you ain't got to worry about it. So, y'all, I'm happy at 38, baby. I'm ready to see what the future holds for me. I am ready to see what this new chapter 38 holds for me. It's like it's like a happy moment. And me and my friend, um, we was talking about... Because all four of us... Me, all my friends, me and my best friends, we all turn 38 together, 39. We all turn the same age every year. In the same year. I'm the oldest. And I was telling them um, that that's for our 40th. We got to do something big. We got to plan something big for our 40th. And my friend suggested we go to Greece. So, we're going to put that in the works. We starting to plan that. Um, you know, I feel like 40, that's another big milestone. 
Like, you only turn, we only turn these ages once, y'all. And if God spare us and have mercy on us and let us live to see 40. Y'all think your girl looking good and, and holding it down. Now, let me go, let your girl see 40. And I make it over there to Greece. Who? Who? When? I ain't gonna kid you. I ain't gonna kid you, baby. I'm gonna be out there living it. So we planning on doing that. You know, we like we making our plans about that now. And it's a whole lot that comes along with planning. Of course, that's why you start out early. And nothing is promised. It's just like you know we talking about it. We making you know adjustments. Cause again, next year we'll be 39. So we got time to plan it and talk about it but 40 is going to be that year y'all we gonna be planning to go to greece everybody we trying to plan i don't know if we trying to do a big birthday 40th birthday bash and then fly out to greece i don't know but it's sounding like it's gonna be real lit like it's sounding real lit like real lit and me and my best friend we was talking about that yesterday so we got plans for the future y'all and that's what i'm saying when you got friends that's Delta plan with you to have fun with you. Y'all vibe out. Y'all have a good time together. Keep them people around. Don't have nobody in your circle that's jealous of you. And I speak about this all the time, y'all. Don't have people in your circle that's jealous of you. Because it shows. When motherfuckers jealous, they gonna show it. When people see that they can't get on your level. And they feel like you got this going on. And they ain't got nothing going on, baby. They will show it. And they will show, show you. Take people for how they are. Take people for who they are. And don't worry about the outside people the people that's in your circle that's happy for you you're gonna know they're gonna show it every single time and that's what i that's why i don't worry about if people show up for me because i know my people that's gonna show up for me are gonna be there for me and i'm gonna be there for them and that's just point blank period you can't take that away when you got true people in your life can't nobody come in and mess with that because they already done proved that they're true to you they they down for you they're gonna hold you down they're gonna ride and when I say ride, they gonna ride. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm happy, y'all. 38. Um, I I feel good. I I jumped up out the bed this morning. I knew I had to log in, and I was just like, Lord, thank you for another day. Thank you for another birthday. Thank you for health and strength. Do you see what I'm saying? Cause baby, them prayers go a long way. When you get up and you pray and you at thank God for another day. Baby, he's sparing us. He giving us. He's having mercy on us. So it's 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 like you gotta be thankful, and you can't. He's letting a lot of stuff. You can't sweat the small stuff. Cause when you start sweating the small stuff and worry about oh, who so and so couldn't come to my birthday, I'm mad. Who finna have that type of power over me? No, ma'am. Baby, no, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not gonna give nobody that type of power over me to be right here. Hooping and hollering and mad about certain stuff. I can't let that stuff bother me, and y'all can't either. Y'all can't either, honey. I got so many compliments yesterday on my makeup, my my outfit. Everybody was wishing me a happy birthday. Thank y'all for all the birthday wishes, all the shout outs, all the gifts. Um, my sister did a marvelous job on the cake, as y'all could see. It was just a vibe, y'all. I really enjoyed myself. I received so much love. It was just a it was just a it was a it was a vibe. I, I can really say my birthdays are always a vibe. I always have a good time. I enjoy myself. Um, you know. Yes, you don't I did um cancel product hair review go over there and check me out i just dropped that video today today is april the 5th i'm gonna say the 25th i'm talking about the 5th the 25th 
Yeah. Oh, it's the 26th. Oh, shoot. I got to make sure I don't miss Tom telling my friend happy birthday. My best friend happy birthday. So, yeah, y'all. I was watching my vlog. Um, Happy Tuesday, by the way. If I did not say it, happy Tuesday, y'all. I hope that y'all are having a happy Tuesday so far. I hope that everything is going y'all way. Um, yeah, and y'all ain't got nothing going on. I just clocked out from work. Um, and I'm about to make me and Chris some dinner because he is still at work and it is actually 3 35. I clocked out at 3 15. So I think I want to make us some fried chicken, some corn, and some rice. I've been having a taste of something like that or some um string beans. Um yeah, because last night I made some tacos, but I didn't even pick y'all up and I didn't even take a picture of it, child. I was yesterday, I really didn't really want to vlog. I don't know why. It's not a good thing for me not to want to vlog, and I just started out, I know. It's just that baby, I think I wanted a little piece to myself. I think I just wanted to just like, you know, vibe out. Just just vibe out. So, yesterday that's what I did when I got off work. Um, I chilled out. I did not even work on my video. I just worked on my video while I was working. Um, so, I didn't even work on my video yesterday. I didn't did really do too much of nothing. Um, we got a new refrigerator that comes with a ice maker. And y'all, when I tell you it takes so long for this ice maker to work, and I'm gonna order me one of those scoopers from Amazon, so that's gonna be in the cart in a minute. Yeah, so I'm about to do some dinner, and I had to come on camera today and say happy Tuesday, cause honey, I'm sorry, I neglected y'all. Um, um, wait a minute, the day is not. The day is Wednesday. Where I been? Where the hell I been at? I'm sorry. Baby, today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. What? Child, I don't know. Mm -mm, don't ask me. I don't know what I get to. Uh, baby, I don't skip the whole. Well, I, I vlogged on Monday. I vlogged on Monday. <clears throat> I talked to y'all a little bit on Monday and then Tuesday yesterday I didn't do anything. I made tacos. Yeah, so yesterday was Tuesday. I think I was on the right track. I just said the wrong day for y'all. Happy Tuesday. Happy Wednesday. Anyway, <clears throat> so I am about to um see if I want to do... Girl, let me tell y'all. I went in the frozen section to try to find some... um green beans they did not have none i was so mad because i really like the frozen green beans versus the um can i can really do the frozen because i can dock them up how i want to and it won't be you know like a, a lot of salt so i'm thinking about doing yellow rice fried chicken um i took out the white rice but oh excuse me i ain't gonna do that I ain't gonna do that. Well, I might do us some corn. I'm gonna do some corn instead of green beans. Yep, so I am about to start dinner. I just wanted to pop on here, y'all, and tell y'all um, thank y'all so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are liking the video so far, just please give me a thumbs up. Like the video, y'all, and subscribe to the channel, y'all. Share my video, and please do not forget to turn on your post notification bell. It's that little bell right by my name. So when I post a video, y'all will be the first to see it. We need it, we need it, we need it, we need it. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Okay. Oh, my battery, um, my light went out, child. My light done went dead, baby. Let me put plug my light up, child. She done went out. Hold on, let me see what we got here. That trash thing. Chris gonna have to take that ASAP. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Take it away, take it away. Wanna be here in this room 
this time so y'all it's another day in the vlog um just wanted to pick y'all up i just left out of the nail shop um i went to a new girl over here by me she did a good job and y'all these are actually my nails my actually my actual nails um y'all i put a clip in here showing y'all my actual real nails i told y'all that in the summertime i try to do sns or i try to just stick with my nails um and they did a good job y'all she did a good job um yeah so i like them um i got her to cut them down a little bit and then i just got like a little design like a white design so she did pretty good i love them i am now about to go and walmart because i have to get some stuff out of walmart and then i'm gonna grab something to eat um and i need to call my friend back because my best friend called me and um i need to call her back real quick and see what she hollering about Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it is. I'ma wear these at. I'ma y'all gonna see this every time. I'ma wear it out, baby. I spent my coins. 
I spent my coin. Y'all, I didn't show y'all um, one of my friends. I think I did show y'all this. Um, my homegirl, Stephanie, came to my birthday dinner. And she brought me some gift cards. She brought me a $15 gift card for Starbucks. And then she got me a $25 gift card to Sephora. And I've never really shopped in Sephora. So I'm going to be excited going in there shopping, y'all. Um, I'm getting into the makeup. So I'm trying to get into skincare and makeup. Um, even though I don't put a whole lot of stuff on my skin. But um, I've seen this little gel stuff on my set my face when i was in there but um even though i don't put a whole lot on my face i am going to go in there and see if i can find some stuff for um you know makeup purposes or whatever i need and then if i gotta add to it i'll do that but i just wanted to um pick y'all up and kind of just let y'all know that i am out and about it is ugly out here it is raining um i actually tried i don't know if y'all can see it back there but it's a nail shop back here let me see if i can show y'all the nail shop it's called lush nail bar and um it's in a plaza over here i don't know if y'all can see this. it's a planet smoothie right there i wanted to try one of those um those smoothie bowls that everybody been talking about but i don't got time for that today i don't want to play and waste my money today so we ain't gonna do that today okay we'll do that on another day when i feel like you know playing with a little money and yeah so I'm gonna go get me something to eat. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna get me something to eat first before I go on Walmart. I mean, it's just what it is. Yeah, but um, I got to, um, it's six o'clock now, y'all. I've been in the nail shop since about four. I want to say about four. Um, the lady did pretty good. She did real good. Um, so let me pick y'all back up when I get to my next stop. I want to try Steak and Shake again. I had some Steak and Shake. It went all day. I had it over there in my row. Here we go. Here we can go. All right, y'all. Let me go. I'll pick y'all back up at my next destination and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. I went into when I last talked to y'all I went into um I was in I was just leaving out the nail shop and I was gonna go by Walmart but I never made it to Walmart I ended up going into Dollar Tree and getting some stuff that we needed um for the house so I um got that stuff that we needed and then I got something to eat and then I came on home y'all I was not feeling this weather it was rainy and it's crazy so I'm back at home um I'm getting ready I'm in the bed as y'all can see about to get ready to call it a night so I'm taking it in early tonight because I got to get myself prepared for Monday um so yeah 
Oh, I gotta watch this, y'all. Um, Brett Love Judy is on, so they talking about it now. I'm finna get ready to turn this on, and yeah, I'm about to be in the bed for tonight. Um, I ain't got nothing else going on. You girl about to go to bed, lay here, watch some TV, and so I go on, on, go on, on, go on, go on, sleep. And I will pick y'all back up tomorrow. Um, I hope y'all had a great day today. Today is again, it's Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. So I will see you two guys tomorrow. TTYO. what's up y'all happy friday i am home as y'all can see um i just logged out to go on my lunch so i wanted to hop on the camera just to say happy friday to y'all just in case you know your girl gets sidetracked and don't do my part so i'm gonna do my part um it is currently 12 24 um, I just logged out for my hour lunch, so I'm gonna go ahead and start editing a video. Um, let me show y'all my little setup. So this is, um, of course, y'all know my laptop, my map, my mouse, and in this little case right here, I, um, I got my little stuff that I'm gonna be, you know, I got my Sims card and all that stuff in there, and I also keep my mouse in there. So I'm about to start editing my weekly vlog so y'all tune in and stay tuned for that um i made me some iced coffee over here in the gut <laughs> over here in the gut i'm gonna light my candle starbucks who starbucks who and starbucks well i'm gonna light my candle what it say? Light a candle. Cause why? Cause why? Hell. It shouldn't take that long to light no counter now. Shall. And lock your thing back, y'all. If y'all got kids, lock your torch back. But anywho, um, I'm about to catch a vibe in here. Um, I got a few things, bills I gotta take care of, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit and do those. And then I don't pick my baby girl up today. I pick her up tomorrow because she's doing something else with um, her competition. So, um, yeah. And then I log back in when it's time for me to log back in, get my day finished. And then, y'all, I'm going to chill for the rest of today. Um, I don't have a whole lot on my agenda. I am going to go by the grocery store later on. So, I might just take you guys with me as I go by the grocery store. It's not a whole lot that I have to get. But you know how that go. When you get in the grocery store, honey, you get the buying stuff that you don't need, child. And baby, I don't got time. But I do got time today. Because I do got a little something. You know, I want to get out the store today. But I just wanted to pick y'all up to kind of, you know, get my day going and to start the vlog off. Like I said, it's Friday. Um, of course, you know, us nine to five workers still working, baby. We don't take no days off. Um, and yeah, I will pick y'all back up later on today. And um, just to check in and let y'all know how the vibes is going. I might just prop y'all up and let y'all see me do a little editing, a little work. You know, I don't really like to log in. I don't really like to have my camera on when I'm working, like my 9 to 5, because it is, you know, people business. And then I don't like to be... You know, exposing the company that I work for, um, for privacy reasons. So, of course, y'all won't see me doing a lot of, um, vlogging while I work. 
Um, but of course, my desk is over there in the cut. In the cut. And yeah, everybody ain't nobody here with me, y'all. We I'm relax. I'm 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 relaxing in the highs. And y'all, I go back in the I go at um in my building on Monday. Well, no, I'm gonna say it like this. I start a new position on Monday. So I won't be working from home um starting Monday. I'll be back working inside of the building. I got a promotion, so I am going to be back in the building. And I mean, I miss let me just talk to y'all about it real quick. So I as I started working um as an adult, I've always worked you know, like I've always gotten up, got dressed, and gone up to work, been in traffic, all that good stuff. So now, when I applied for this at home remote position, I was like, okay, okay, girl, you're gonna be working from home, you get to do stuff. Girl, I think I done got lazy. Cause I don't really go nowhere during the week, y'all. I be at home, like the house be straight clean, like, if I cook, I make, girl, it be, it be a vibe, but I'm an outside person. Like, I'm a girl that like to be outside. Like, I like to get up and get dressed and go to work. I think that's, that's always been my, you know, my gist. Like, I've always seen my mama get up and go to work. My daddy get up and go to work. So, me working from home, like, it was a good thing too. But, y'all, I like to really get up and go to work. Like, I have to get out the house because on the weekends, y'all, y'all don't want to know. I be spending beaucoup cool of money because I don't spend money during the week. Of course, I buy Amazon and stuff. But, it ain't the same as, you know, out eating and stuff like that. Going to catch a vibe even though i don't catch a vibe during the week anyway when i was working inside of the building i was not um you know like um spending a whole lot of money i was spending money on gas because of where i worked it like i worked downtown um atlanta and i was spending buku of gas driving from my house to my job that I used to formerly work for, the company I used to work for, I used to spend so much money. And my car needed so much, um, like my oil changes was like ridiculous. Like I had to literally, you know, put so much gas in my car, put too, do too many oil changes throughout the year. So I knew that was a problem for me. And I'm like, okay, I gotta change this up. So with me changing it up, I was like, okay, well maybe if I go closer to home, I won't mind. But the position that I took um, recently, that I'll be, I'll be starting on Monday, I am going to be closer to home. I am not going to have to drive far out. Um, and I feel like my my truck will still be able to, you know, maintain this oil changes, maintain the gas, and all of that good stuff. So y'all pray for me. Pray with me. Um, every time I, like, anytime I start something new, I always go to God. God leads me. God guides me. If it's for me, it's for me. Um, and I always just go with his path. Whatever God leads me to, I go with it, y'all. I don't, I pray about it. I pray about the environment. I pray about the vibes when I get there. I pray about the people. I pray for myself, you know, and my sanity. And, you know, pray around my work desk, all of that. I pray around everything because I want to make sure that this job is for me. And because God has allowed me to be able to accept this position, I know that it's for me. Um... So, yeah, y'all, I'm excited. What's up, y'all? So, I am still up, y'all. My video has uploaded. Um, it will be, I have it scheduled to come out at 8 o'clock in the morning, y'all. It is currently 1.46 a.m. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But it went 46 a.m. Okay. Don't y'all ever. Ever. I'm going to hit the ceiling on you. Until you do right by me. Everything you even think about going to crumble. 
Okay. Y'all, I dropped my video. It's scheduled to come out at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Well, today, 8 a.m. Y'all, make sure y'all are over there on my channel to watch my weekly vlog. Um, everybody in the house is asleep. Baby girl not here. I pick her up tomorrow, but Chris and the boys are asleep. I am up editing. This is how much y'all mean to me, and this is how much YouTube means to me, and to put my footage out here to let y'all see the foolery that I have going on in my life. Um, right now, I am watching Fatal Attraction, and then my um, For My Man, honey, I've been watching this um, on and off all day. I done caught a few vlogs. Y'all, I've been in the same seat all day. I've been up, I had dinner. Chris went and got some hot wings. Um, well, he, when he came in, he brought hot wings and fries, so we had that for dinner. And then I made us a drink, um, a little alcoholic beverage, me and him. So we drunk on that. Um, what else? I've been sitting here editing. Y'all, the video is actually going to be ready, and it's going to be live, and it's going to be ready for y'all to check it out. Make sure that y'all are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that y'all have already went over to the Martin Family Way. Chris actually dropped a video earlier this week. So y'all make sure y'all go over there and check my baby out. He's actually getting serious about this thing, honey. Shocked the hell out of me too, child. But y'all go over to the Martin Family Way. Check Chris out. He did upload a video um this week. I can't quite remember what day it was he uploaded, but I know he did upload this week. Y'all support my boo. Support my bae. Support my future husband. We are on this train together. Um, I hope that you guys are enjoying the video so far. Thank y'all for everybody who has been subscribing. Um, thank y'all for leaving comments down below. I see people leaving comments. Thank y'all. I told y'all I'm respond back, boo. And if I don't respond back right away, boo, trust me, I'm gonna respond back, okay? Um, but anyway, happy Saturday. If I don't get up and say it when I get up, because I'm about to go take me a shower, baby, I've been in these PJs when I say all day. I gotta come up out these. I gotta go take me a good hot shower. This vlog has had me in the chokehold all day. And y'all, I'm thinking that I got so much footage, baby. I'm just finishing my Easter Sunday vlog. So that's how much footage I got. And we are at the end of this month. And by the way, happy birthday to my best friend, Adrian. Shout out to Adrian. She is actually on this vlog that I just posted. Shout out to her. Y'all leave a comment down below. Let my best friend know that she is a queen, honey. Happy queen day, my boo. My best friend, um, Adrian. Y'all shout out to her. Um, and yeah, y'all, I hope that y'all enjoy this vlog, um, that I just dropped. But this current vlog, I have another weekly vlog before this one, um, that I have to drop.